Hello and welcome to this brief food ordering demo overview. During this brief video, I will show you the food ordering system and the food ordering widget, a very powerful tool and a very powerful addition that you may have to now open up your book of business to almost anybody who has a website or does not have a website and is looking to maybe get a food ordering system or add their their menu be a mobile first menu. So that means that the person won't have to scroll in, scroll out to see and read the menu. They won't need the readers on. It's very, very, very fun tool to use. During this, you'll be able to see how you can actually add tips. You can have multiple locations. Uh, your, your menu could have videos on it, complete descriptions of your product. And, and at the end, you will actually have an online presence and maybe they don't have to use those other uh, places for doing their delivery service, if you will. But let's get right to it so I can keep this as brief as possible. Now, I've happened to have cho chosen a template already. And in this template, I'm going to go right into it. And you can see I can create new pages here. I can even clone the site. Let's go over here, go to our menu. And you can see our editor right there. I can even edit it through here. I'll give you a little brief to walk through over it. Very, very, very easy. Very beautiful sites, actually. All right. So we go to the header. Not really going to go over this right now. And then let's actually go over here and go right into the food ordering. Okay. So I'll go to the food ordering. And right in here, you would actually put in your intros and titles, put your items as many as you want, any images, text, videos that you'd like to put in there, list items, this is where I go into here. So I've already added one. This is already part of the template. Go over here and see this one right in here. And I had the price, however many, and available uh, toppings right up in here, available not included right over into here. And again, how you add these, you simply go here and add new options too as well. Enter all including options, toppings in the text area above, one per row. Customers will have to deselect these options to not have them included on their order, like me. I'm a person who doesn't like cheese, so I would actually say I do not want cheese on mine. Again, these are completely editable. You could take these all off, you edit them. This is completely in your control. If I wanted to add a new option, as you can see right in here, I can add a new option, the option name, the name of it. I can set my own SKU for it, and I can now adjust the price. I can charge more, charge less. Maybe it's a, a pizza and small, medium, and large, if you will. And I can just add those as I see fit. Main content, also your size, your font, abstract more title, more information. And you keep in mind that this is adding it for this product. So now the customers or clients are really going to get to know what that actual food item is. Maybe you've seen a video. You can see I can add more images in here. I can add multiple images in here. I can enable Zoom. And you can see this is a mobile first platform. So maybe you want it to adjust a little bit over on desktop or you just leave it um, as, as is. A few more, you can put another video right into here. I can add buttons in here. I can even put some SEO on this one. I can add additional info contents if I wanted to and search similar Facebook. And that is for a, another uh, conversation there. All righty. So pretty darn simple what you actually get to do. And then at the end, you now have a new food item. Simple. Let's say you have multiple uh, similar items. You can even clone it to actually create them even faster. All right. All right. So we save and update it. Even though I really didn't do any editing since it was already done. And now let's go back over to the food ordering. And food ordering details and options. I have more down in here. As you can see, I now have order types, delivery, pickup, curbside, dine-in. You decide. Maybe it's one. Maybe it's all of them. Your delivery cost, if you want to add one, your minimum order for delivery. If you have multiple locations, you can ask the time of pickup, allow tips. Um, you can even have search items. So it's pretty powerful what you actually get to do. And as I'm sure you're seeing right now, it's very, very, very simple to do. Your list style and layout, again, save and update it. So extremely, extremely easy to use. 
And if I actually wanted to go over in here and maybe add more widgets, as I'll show you, I can now add more widgets. So you see the food ordering, maybe I want to go over and add some different widgets. A flip card, maybe, maybe you now want to do, let's go down the food menu, which is an awesome one. You can actually just use the food menu all by itself, if you will. Maybe the it's up it's up to those who actually have the platform, um, but there's just almost no limits of what you could actually do. You see the different currencies that you have, the desktop columns. So you're you're building, as we say, uh, as Google also requires, mobile first. So that's what you're starting with. You're starting with the mobile device and it's essentially building it and adapting to it. It basically takes responsive and it takes it a level above it. Um, as you'll soon see down the road, most, most websites, they are having to go mobile first and those that are just simply stay responsive will soon be outpaced by the mobile first sites that are coming. Um, and that's what you have in your possession right now. US dollars show categories with an accordion you see now this is for you to just to, to play around with right your intros and titles now i can add a new menu a new category sorry this is a little blocked out but add a new section category add a new menu item so let's go into here and you can see really all you're doing is just filling in the blanks you know your category name you know what the image it is you would then save this let's go back and now say you wanted to add a new food item you would actually do a new, new do a new menu item and then you would actually add, add it to a category so again very easy your price your section you would actually have those categories already done your other options right in here you get to now choose your main title your subtitle you can actually even use our ai technology to generate some main text add more images you can add multiple images you could use our global media library again very 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 simple to use you can also even do some more customization seo on this to actually make it that much more stand out all righty as you can see that is our food ordering demo extremely easy to see as you can see uh, and extremely easy to use you see look how that pops out see they can now add it add it to cart so very, very, very fun. Your customers are gonna love this tool. They're gonna love using it. They're gonna, now if you have it, uh, uh, maybe as a progressive web app too as well, now it's installed on everybody on your customer's home screen or their phone. And now when they wanna place an order, they want to go to your restaurant, they wanna recommend it to family or friends. They simply look at the home screen of their cell phone, locate where they actually have that progressive web app. And then now hit a button, opens up and then now they're ordering directly from you you can see how this saves not only you time and money but also your customers they're going to absolutely love it and they get a chance to take your restaurant with them everywhere that they go because it's in their back pocket on the home screen of your cell phone as long as you have our progressive web app technology as well Alrighty, so that is our food option uh, system and also these details over into here you would actually now set it up for stripe or, or paypal those are the two integrations we have and if i wanted to change the style or the theme i can actually go right over to there and further customize it so thank you for watching this brief food ordering demo